In today's culture, the truth is not what it used to be. According to many, truth is subjective, it's not universal. It's based on your own experience and your own opinion and your own feelings. The world is what you make it and the truth is what you make it. There is no moral compass and if there is, the standards are very low. Nothing is sacred and everything is gray. All things are relative and all lines are blurred. And this is in part because everyone thinks they have a leg up on the truth. They may not have all the answers, but they're confident that they at least know more than you do. It almost seems like you can't reason with people because they've already made up their minds. And you can't exactly blame anyone for this. We like to know the truth. So when we get a couple pieces of a picture, we like to fill in the blanks to see what we want to see. We like being able to feel like we are on the right side. We like feeling enlightened and smart. We like having the upper hand on truth and having our minds made up. We hate ambiguity. So when we hear something that contradicts what we have already made our minds up on, it doesn't feel very good. This is why a lot of us listen to news and media that affirms what we already believe to be true. We listen to what our itching ears want to hear. Nowadays, you can pick what version of the truth you want to hear, just like you can pick what brand of cereal you want for breakfast. And so it seems impossible to get a grasp on anything concrete with all these different versions of truth being thrown at us from every direction. And now we're caught in the middle of it all wondering, what is truth? But let me tell you that all of this is the work of the enemy. You see, the enemy lives under our feet because he lives under Christ's feet. So if he has no power over us, what can he do to keep us in darkness? Well, Jesus said, I am the truth, but he also said that I am the only way to the Father. So the only way to the Father is through the truth. This is why the enemy is desperately trying to skew our understanding of truth and morality because he wants to separate us from the Father. There is also freedom in truth and you know how much the enemy does not want us to be free. So how can we know the truth with mass deception running rampant? Well, truth is a person. So when you're in a relationship with someone, how do you get to know them? How do you know what they stand for and what they object to? You have to spend time with them. You have to walk with them and talk with them. You have to ask them questions. You have to have an intimate relationship with them in order to know and understand them. And once this is established, you can immediately discredit any false accusation that may come against them. So if someone accuses your wife of being a cheater, you can say, no, my wife is not a cheater because I spend all my time with her. I know her intimately and I know her standards and that does not sound like my wife. Do you spend all your time with my wife? If not, then how can you speak lies about her and believe them to be true? Likewise, how can someone claim to know truth when they do not walk with truth? In the same way, the more we develop an intimate relationship with Jesus, the more we'll be able to discern truth from deception. But it's not always easy because lies come in pretty packages, just like wolves come in sheep's clothing. And this is why we need the Holy Spirit also known as the spirit of truth to guide us and give us the eyes and ears we need to see through deceit and hear the truth for what it is regardless of what the culture says and what our own opinions say. And going back to the relationship example, you cannot know someone through someone else. You cannot have a relationship with your uncle through your cousin. You have to spend time with them and talk with them yourself in order to truly know them. Likewise, if you're listening to a preacher and he starts preaching something that contradicts scripture, how will you know anything's wrong if you've never read the word for yourself? You can't read the Bible through your pastor. You have to read the scriptures for yourself and know the word intimately without a middleman. The truth is in the word. We cannot get our understanding of truth from news organizations and social media because their main goal is to make a profit. 
You may think they are for you, but in reality, they just want your money. But the purpose of the word is not to take from you, but to give you a gift, the gift of eternal life. So our source of truth must come from the word because it is truth itself. And truth is not subjective. It's not abstract or moldable. It is the unwavering cornerstone. God is not the author of confusion. The enemy wants confusion. The enemy wants you so confused that you eventually start questioning fundamental realities and become so disoriented that you drop all standards of morality. He wants you off of the firm foundation of Christ and onto the sand where your foundation itself can shift whenever the wind blows. But God wants to give you a strong, sound mind and to clothe you in the belt of truth. So turn to Jesus and pursue the deepest possible relationship with him. Because the closer you are to him, the further you are from lies and deception. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I hope this encouraged you if you've been overwhelmed with confusion in these times. I pray that God guides you on the path of truth which leads to him. Make sure to subscribe and check out some more videos on the channel. Thank you for entering the sanctum and you will see me in the next one.